this video, I'm going to do 7.3 uh, examples 1 and 5 from that worksheet that I gave you. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking these two equations. It's the same equation, I hope you notice. And for number 1, you were supposed to convert it to factored form, which would be x plus 6 times x plus 2. And that simply comes from looking for two factors of 12 that add up to 8, 6 and 2. So now we are in factored form. And on the right side, completing the square to change it to vertex form. So we are going to add a mystery block and subtract the mystery block and move the 12 over. The key to this problem is taking half of 8, half of B right there, 8 is 4, and then you square it to get 16. That's the number that you add and subtract to complete the square. Hi. So I completed the square by adding 16 and subtracting 16. And what we're going to do next is we're going to group it into two parts. That part that I put the parentheses around will be the perfect square. The perfect square comes from taking uh, half of 8, which is 4, and putting it right there in the h position. When I say h, I'm talking about x minus 8 squared. So we have... Uh, a 4 in the place of h, because 4 squared is 16. Remember, if there's a positive there, there's a positive there. Finally, we have this leftover part, negative 16 plus 12, which will become negative 16. So we have our equation in general form, factored form, and vertex form. And the first thing I want to do is check to see that I get the same parabola when I put it into my calculator in factored form So go ahead to your calculator and go to y1 put that in for y2 put the factored form in and then for y3 put the vertex form in, x plus 4 squared minus 4. And if you go back to the beginning of each equation, let's go ahead and make y2 bold by pressing enter, and y3 have, will be graphed with a little circle by hitting enter until you get to that symbol. When we hit zoom 6, we should see the same parabola. Once, twice, Three times. So it's three different forms producing the same graph. Next on our calculator, uh, we can go ahead and ask it to find the vertex. Since we're in vertex form, we know it's left, four, down, four. But you can confirm this on the calculator by doing second, trace. If it's a minimum, you're going to do option three. You want to move your cursor to the left of the minimum when it asks you for the left bound. Once you get to the left of the minimum, press enter. Move it to the right of the minimum for the right bound and press enter. And then hit enter again and it'll tell you that the minimum is negative four, negative four. Another thing we can do on the calculator is to confirm the two zeros, which should be negative six, zero, and negative two, zero. We can confirm these by tracing. Press trace, negative 6, enter. It confirms that it's 0, and then hit negative 2, enter, and it, it, it confirms that it's a 0. The last thing you might want to do is, con is to confirm the uh, y-intercept by tracing to 0 and hitting enter, and it confirms that it's 0, comma 12. All right, so that was the purpose of the video, was to show you how to convert from uh, general to vertex, general to factored, and then to confirm all of these things using your graphing calculator.